All right, repeating alphas. Notice when I initialize ZBrush, my alphas don't go away. The only time my alpha goes away is when I restart ZBrush. If you want to keep your alphas that you create, you have to export them. And then we'll go into that when I produce one that's worth exporting. The next thing I'm going to teach you is tileability. Okay? So take off Pro under Document and let's make a new document. This document is going to have a hundred width and we'll go 700 on the height. And I'm going to resize this. Oops. 100. There we go. So I can zoom out and I got this. What we're going to do here is place a polygon primitive and I need my tool palette to do that so well I guess I can hit J on the keyboard now can I? J on the keyboard go to 3D ring click and drag a 3D ring out hit edit if you hold shift you can snap that into position and what I'm gonna do here is move this now the minute I move it up here, you notice that it disappears. Okay. So there's a difference. Let's say I want it to repeat. Maybe I want it to show up half up here and half at the bottom. Well, what I'm going to do here is unchecked edit. Hold the tilde button, which is above the tab, but just below the escape button and click and drag. What happens is it tiles over to the other side. I'm going to leave it right about there. Okay. Then I'm going to draw one just like it. As close as I can get to it. Go to the move. Right now this thing is on a weird axis so to repair that I can go back to edit hold shift click and then go like that and you can know that it fixes it so all I did was uncheck edit and go back to move if you hold shift and S on the keyboard it will duplicate it so what I'm going to do here is duplicate these over and over again until I reach the bottom. And hopefully I space these just about right. So it's, yep, it should be good right there. Okay. I'm going to shift S it one more time and bring it back up to the top. And this time I'm going to check edit and then turn it. Uncheck to edit. Go to move. So what I'm going to do is build a chain. Yep. So shift S. Shift S. just like that okay check edit now there's a difference here I do not have to use that MZR GRB grabber for this there's another way to do it and that's why I wanted to make this one it shows you how to make a tileable alpha two you can start now exploring the alpha palette in here we'll start by going into grab doc grab doc produces this alpha and I know now you're itching to use it right so well let's do that Jan the keyboard initialize yes plane and then we'll launch the alpha see how easy that workflow is I mean to learn how to make alphas 
to quickly be able to go back and use them. Um, I can't express how important it is to go follow the first vi couple videos just to get it down pat. Especially chapter one where I make that that whole palette. Now you'll see a different story with this alpha. If I click and drag it out it looks like this. So how do I produce a chain from this? If I use dots it produces something that looks awful. Absolutely awful. Well, what happens is these brushes, the ones that need to be tiled, need to have a different thing on and under stroke you'll find there's a roll. Okay, Roll distance of 1 equals that as soon as it ends the frame it's going to go again. If it's 2 it's going to go twice the amount. So we're going to keep it at 1. That means I can go in here and make chain. And this is very addicting to do. Now, let me go into the fact that there is the other ones out here. Let's say I need to make that chain that is very elongated. Okay? Well, I can turn this to 2. Now you see I have a whole different look to the chain. So, well, that's 4.5 still. Okay, I was wondering why it was so bad. So 2. And now I got that one chain that has a longer link. So just by using roll, you can see that I can produce a lot of different types of chain. And that's what's important. Alright, so now that we've had a complex alpha being produced, how do we save this as a brush? So I always have it. Here's my standard brush, here's my stroke, here's my alpha, and I have roll on. I want to take all that and turn it into a brush and mount it inside here in my brush collection. Okay, so that's in the next video.